as you will find fairly often with charts and graphs, the math behind them is not too tough. What you have to do is sort through the charts and graphs. Once you've interpreted those, the math isn't that tough, as in this case. If we want to sell 80 lollipops a week, what percent was reached on this day? If I want to see how many lollipops I've sold so far, I add up 8 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 and gives me 20. Well, 20 divided by 80 is 1 fourth. It's 25 percent. Now, there also would be a problem accompanying this one perhaps where you might be wanting to know about the number or the amount of money brought in. In which case, for instance, to find the number of 50 cent lollipops or the amount of money that brought in, you'd multiply 8 times 0.5. Now this is a chart or graph problem where you're being asked to interpret something from the chart. You're going to have to do a little bit more work than just look at it. We want here how many matches are played between amateurs 30 years of older, and let's look where we're going to find those, we'll find those in this box, and professionals who are under 30 years. Well we look there at that box. Okay, both of them happen to be blank, so we're going to have to do some deduction here. Well, if there are three amateurs under 30, and their total of 11 amateurs, 11 minus 3 tells us there have to be eight that are 30 years or older. And if we look at the professionals, if we've got seven that are 30 years or older and a total of 14, that tells us we have 14 minus 7, or 7 members under 30 that are professionals. So, 8 members that are amateurs, 7 members that are professionals, 15. Okay, this is more of a reasoning problem, but it involves figures. In this case, we're looking for two regions that are separate and the definition of two regions being separate is if they have no common points and any line segment that can be drawn with both endpoints in R has no points in common with any line segment that can be drawn in S. Okay, let's look at, well the obvious one we can rule out is E because that has common points. We see that with C and D and B lines can be drawn with both endpoints in one of the figures that would cause another line to be able to be drawn with both endpoints in the corresponding figure, especially if you're talking about vertical and horizontal lines that would be intersecting. However, A has no points in common and I can't find any place where they can intersect. So no lines there could be drawn with both endpoints in one figure and intersect with a line with both endpoints in the other figure. So A is our answer.